Hey guys, what's up? This is Sean Heather and in this video, I'm going to show you how to customize the home screen and the display of your Huawei Mate 10, Mate 10 Pro smartphones. So here we go. If you just pinch like this on the home screen, here you will find the option to customize your screen. So you can change the wallpaper. You can even use the illusion and scrollable option. What illusion does exactly if you select it, then it will make it blurry. The background will be blurry as you can see here. And if you make it scrollable, then the wallpaper will move along with the home screen. So let me show you. You can even select for lock screen or home screen or both. And now if I scroll, you can see that the wallpaper is scrolling along with the home screen. So this is how you can customize the wallpaper. You can select any of these widgets to place on the home screen. And then there is transition. There are lots of transition. And here is the live demo. If you select one of these transitions, so how the home screen content will move for each of them. So depending on your choice, you can select any of them and uh, if you go to the settings here, you will find lots of nice options. The first one is home layout. So whether you would like to have 5 is to 5, 5 is to 4 or 4 is to 5 icon set on the home screen. Right now it's 5 is to 5. You can select 5 is to 4 as well. And if you select 5 is to 4 and then go back, you can see that there is now lots of empty space between two rows of app icons. And then there is the option of auto aligning. Of application if you remove any application then rest of the icons will be auto aligned or you can shake to align the home screen icons then there's the option called badge app icons if you tap on this you will get the option to select whether you would like to get the badge icon like this just a tiny small dot showing that there is a notification waiting for you or if you select the unread message it will show you the number of notification for that particular message right now I don't have any uh, application supporting the unread message count so that's why it's not showing here and uh, then the next one is app suggestion whether you would like to get some app suggestion search results you can customize as well that which all applications you would like to appear in the search result and then there is home screen drop that allows home screens to loop and then there's a google feed if you go to the home screen here is the google feed on the left hand side you can even remove it if you want just by going to the settings and tapping on this slider and now if you go to the home screen there is no google feed as you can see then the next one is auto rotate whether you would like your home screen to rotate automatically or not so right now it's turned off if you turn it off and go here you can see now the home screen is rotating as well so this is a very nice and useful feature so this is all you got in the settings and now if you go to the settings and then go to the display here you will find lots of options once again so the first one is brightness the very basic one color temperature if you go here you can select the color temperature of your device so if you go to warm you can see that the screen is more yellowish if you go to cold it will be more white and depending on your comfort level you can select any of them you can even slide this tiny pointer to select the exact color temperature you want or you can just select the default one so it's totally up to you and then you got the home screen style if you go to the home screen you can see there is no app drawer by default so this is where you can change your app drawer. If you go to the display, then go to the home screen style. The standard one is the home screen without app drawer. If you select the drawer and then you go back to your home screen, you will see there is new button coming in the center and that's the app drawer. So if you just tap on this, all of these applications, they will be appeared in app drawer and you can even tap on any of these alphabets to access a particular application starting from that alphabet as you can see here so this is how you can get an app drawer on your Huawei Mate 10 or Mate 10 Pro smartphone and then there is 
the wallpaper that we have already seen how to change the wallpaper after that it's view mode so here you can see the view mode is at default you can reduce the size make it smaller you will get more content on the screen or you can make it larger so depending on your choice you can select any of these options larger default or smaller same goes with the text size you can make it huge you can make it normal and then there is texture style so right now we got three fonts you can select any of these here is the sample how it will look after selecting the Dubai font or you can select the Huawei Sans it's totally up to you or you can just go with the default one then there is screen resolution actually Mate 10 it comes with WQHD resolution so you will get three options for Mate 10 Pro you will get two options screen resolution available to select for Huawei Mate 10 is HD Full HD and WQHD for Mate 10 Pro you will get HD and Full HD and then there is a smart resolution option if you select this it will select the screen resolution depending on your activity and performance so it will reduce the resolution to increase the battery life or if you do not want and want to go consistent with particular resolution then you can select from here as well and then there is screen saver you can select screen saver whether you would like to see screen savers from the camera screenshot or magazine unlock and you can change the duration here as well and then what we got is the color mode so here you will get some color saturation option this is the vivid you can see it's so saturated in color if you go to normal it's a bit warm and these are the two options available for you and then there is the basic auto rotate screen option that you can use on your Huawei Mate 10 or Mate 10 Pro smartphones home the screen. Thanks for watching the video friends and do not forget to subscribe the channel for more videos, tips and tricks and hands on videos like this. I'll see you guys next time in another video. Have a nice day.